you're looking for interesting Nollywood series to binge watch on YouTube, then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Christine and welcome to Nolly Critic. Please do well to like this video, share it and of course subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now in today's video, I'll be sharing 10 Nollywood web series that you can see on YouTube in 2024. But before we go ahead, I mean we have to give honor to whom it's due, right? We've had so many interesting, amazing web series in the past like The Men's Club, Rumor Has It, Giddy Up, Inspector K and the list goes on. But today's video, we'll be talking about 2024 series you can see on YouTube in no particular order. So let's get right into the video. Starting off our list at number 10 is Olive on Accelerate TV. With its first season released in 2021 and now season 2 being available, it follows the story of a grieving widower, Anayo, and he's left to raise his three children after the demise of his wife, Ehi, played by Theresa Edem. But everything is not as it seems on the surface, as he uncovers secrets to his wife's double life. He somehow discovers evidence of his wife's affair with Ibrahim, a rich and powerful top dog, and finds himself in a very dangerous and deadly situation. This series delves into the dark world of deception and secrecy, where truth is a rare commodity and trust is easily broken. Now, this just goes to prove that in some situations, good people are forced to do bad things. Other co-stars in this series include Joker Silva, Bolaji Ogumola, Angel Nigwe, uh, Stephanie Coca, Michael Folarin, and the list goes on and on. If you're looking to see this, then you should definitely check it out on Accelerate TV. Coming up next on number 9 is Rofia Taylor Loran. I'm sorry, but I couldn't help myself. It's just so hard to not sing it like them. Anyways, Rofia Taylor Loran, also known as RTL. I'm sure even from the name, you can tell that it is a hilarious comedy series. Now a little backstory, Rufia is a small time yet very hopeful tailor who comes to the city to seek success and of course greener pastures. She connects with an old friend Lape aka Lapsy Lapsy. <laughs> Guys I'm sorry but if you know you actually know see the series and then you definitely understand all of these gimmicks. She portrays herself as a big city girl but somehow still striving so hard in her acting career. But of course we keep up with all their antics as they navigate the murky waters of friendship and business. Take it from me when I say RTL is that comic relief that you need. This series will definitely get you rolling with laughter as the lead characters Bimbo Ademoye and Bolaji Ogumola give us stellar performances in depicting their characters. And of course, there are also other guest appearances that make the series an interesting one. Securing our number 8 spot is Mr. Leo's Little Black Book. For context, Mr. Leo is a millionaire of some sort who owns a hotel conglomerate. And let's just say he's basically defying the odds to keep his business in the green with the help of Tade. Now, Tade is a brilliant business developer and strategist who is trying to get her life back after a series of failed attempts. His little black book keeps tabs of his gorgeous women, unfolding truths and hidden desires between them. I think it's safe to say that the naked convos definitely did been on both seasons with this production. For number 7, we're setting back to Accelerate TV's Visa on Arrival, which is now in its fourth season and so far, its viewership has outpaced its previous productions. When I tell you this series is a roller coaster of different characters, just take my word for it. From Francis the no nonsense officer who likes anything in his skirt, played by Bobby, who happens to also be the writer of this series. The Bible-thumbing charity, played by Das Warrego. Or is it Okoro, the bribe-collecting visa officer, played by Timmy Song? And don't even get me started on the one that is always reminding us that she's a happily married woman. <laughs> Let me talk to her anyhow. But in all of this, I really think that Sophia Lakija was a great addition to the series, especially like how things just turned out to play out. You know what? Just go see for yourself. Produced by A3 Studios, Sibe the series gives us insights about a young woman named Sibe whose life is a hilarious whirlwind of unexpected adventures and mishaps. Each episode showcases her comedic struggles as she tries to balance her dreams with her everyday life. Now let me tell you this, the humor in Sibe is sharp and relentless, with cracking jokes and witty dialogues that keep the audience in stitches. But despite the comedic overtones, the series still touches on themes like personal growth, family dynamics and societal expectations. Let's also talk about the production quality. It's sleek and well executed, providing a polished viewing experience for its audience. It features charismatic performances from Bimbo Ademoye, who is the lead character playing Sibel herself, Uzo Arokwe, Kiki and other intriguing guest appearances which make it a highly recommended watch. Sibel is one that stands out as one of the freshest and funniest series to come out from Nollywood and we're also happy to see actors now coming up with their own productions. 
Now, you probably know Red TV to produce top-notch series such as The Men's Club, Assistant Madams, and the likes. But have you seen When Are We Getting Married? Well, When Are We Getting Married had its maiden edition in 2023 and came back with its season 2 in February of 2024. This romantic comedy tells the story of a young couple navigating the highs and the lows of their relationship. And of course, with the added pressure of societal expectations about marriage. Through a series of comedic and maybe sometimes awkward situations, the couple grapples with the big question, when are we getting married? Thereby, skillfully addressing themes of love, commitment, and societal pressures while still keeping the audience entertained. The series has a great art direction and top-notch production, with each episode delivering a seamless and enjoyable viewing experience. The lead character is played by Rikasani as Fenwa and Immaculata Okokasum as Edith bring a unique charm to their roles, adding depth to the rom-com narrative. For me, I'll say that the major shortcoming of this series is the occasional reliance on cliché. However, its engaging storytelling and brilliant acting make up for this, making it a must-watch for Nollywood fans. Overall, it's a well-made series that offers plenty of laughs and a fresh take on modern relationships. At number four, we're still giving accolades to actors who also double as producers, and Lilian Afebai does that in Akanchawa Badi. She gives us a comical side of her that we definitely love to see. This series explores the life adventures of a local girl called Esosa, aka Akanchawa Badi, aka Millionaire with Ease. If you know, you know. She moves to Lagos with the dreams of making quick and fast money. But is that really the case? With her humorous and often misguided attempts, she tries to navigate the bustling city of Lagos. But this her journey eh, is filled with so many comedic mishaps, laugh out loud moments, as she tries various schemes to achieve her goal. As it stands, some viewers even describe it as one of the most entertaining series to see on YouTube now. And we couldn't agree more. It's a must-see for anyone looking for a good laugh and a glimpse into the humorous side of the city life. At number three, we have Just Us Girls. With its first season released in September 2023, Just Us Girls comes back in April of 2024 and they still have us on choke hold. I particularly like this series because it's a little bit out of the norm. It's a faith-based series in the sense that it centers around the lives of three friends navigating the complexities of love career, friendship, family, personal growth, and of course, the most honest one, their Christian faith and belief in modern Lagos today. This series beautifully captures the essence of friendship and sisterhood. The story follows these women as they support each other through various challenges, from heartbreaks, career setbacks, family pressures, and personal insecurities. Showcasing how this bond can provide strength and resilience in the face of life's ups and downs. One thing I'll say is each character is well developed with standout performances that bring depth and authenticity in their roles. I was also particularly excited that the lead actresses in this series were not popular faces or known names, but they still better their characters so well and they just embodied the roles that they were given, making it very easy to relate with and you know for the audience to resonate very well with. When someone was feeling sad, you the viewer will probably feel sad. Another was feeling happy, you'll probably feel it too. So Kudos to the casting director on that one. And of course, kudos to the actors for bringing their A-game. Four years after season 6 release and Skinny Again in Transit finally blesses us with a season 7 in January of 2024. But we forgive them because it's always worth the wait. If there's an Hollywood web series that perfectly captures the essence of modern life, then it's definitely Skinny Girl in Transit. This relatable dramedy revolves around the life of Tiwa, a plus-size radio personality, and her life journey through love, family, and self-discovery. Tiwa, played by Abimbola Craig as the lead character, is constantly encouraged by her loving but overbearing mother, played by Ngozi Wosu, to lose weight. You see, the thing is, as Tiwa tries to figure out her personal goals, she's faced with numerous challenges, from societal pressure to challenges in her career, love life and even relationship with her family one of the beauties of skinny girl in transit is the ability to address serious issues such as body image societal expectations and self-worth within its comedic and dramatic narrative before we continue if you watch to this point then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel like this video and share it to people that you think will enjoy this kind of content sitting pretty on number one is dear diane after the success of her award-winning web series Recordy, which gained her an AMVCA, Diane Reset of Reset TV teamed up with Abdul Tijani Ahmed, 
to create this beautiful masterpiece. The romantic series is directed by Amasan Miss, so you should definitely not be expecting anything of lesser quality. It stars Shams Garba, Detala Jones, Beauty Tokura, Diane Rossett, Obehi Aburume, amongst others. The series, Dear Diane, allows us to step into the captivating world of young love like you've never seen before. Where a singing terminal weaves a tale of strong emotions between an artist and his listener. I think it's safe to say that it was love as first hearing, right? Or love as first listening? I don't know, but you get the drill. Did you feel we missed any of the other web series out? Please let us know in the comment section if you think we did. And until next time, please don't forget to like this video, share it, and of course, subscribe to our channel. My name is Christine and this is Molly Critic. Bye.